Mud pond? Third lake? No. Wetlands. We're at the Bolsa Chica Ecological Reserve, the largest restored wetland in Southern California's history. Nearly 1,300 acres of coastal estuary, bordered by the city of Huntington Beach. Okay, real quick. Wetlands. Basically areas where water covers the soil. Maybe year-round, maybe seasonally. They're home to plants and animals that have adapted to these neither entirely dry nor entirely wet habitats. And that's thanks to the efforts of the Amigos de Bolsa Chica, and eventually a much larger coalition that would confront developers and several state agencies in the late 70s. A decades-long legal battle ensued until California purchased the public ownership in 1997. Rent purchased for the housing developers, who had acquired swaths of Bolsa Chica from the Bolsa Chica Gun Club. The group of money duck hunters built a dam to keep the seawater out, and the duck ponds mostly tranquil. By now, after over 100 years, the tide flows naturally. Restoration was completed in 2006 with the construction of an inlet to the Pacific Ocean. It restored sailing conditions by mixing sea and fresh water and recreated a historic habitat from vertebrate, fish, birds, and plant species. The wetlands are essential to us too. They'll soak up storms and treat water and are even involved in the climate crisis. As carbon sinks, absorbing more carbon in their vegetation and soil than any other ecosystem. But when warmed or disturbed, wetlands can release that carbon, along with other greenhouse gases like methane or nitrous oxide. California's lost upwards of 90% of its historical wetlands, mostly through land use and development, when they were drained and built over. One study estimates that a fifth of global wetlands may have been lost in the last three centuries. And while that may pose an existential crisis, at least we got to park our cars.